is Jessie. And it's Jessica. And you guys are going to be watching our annual university review. So we are here to do our third year uni review. So you guys probably know Jessie and I graduated. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> we graduated literally last week. You guys, the last few years have been really rough on everyone. So you, 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 all of you, guess what? You made it. We made it! Thank you guys so much for all the nice comments, everyone congratulating us. It was such a special moment. But we're coming and doing this video, it's a bit surreal as well. Yeah. Like, this is our last time doing our university review of the year. Yeah. So we did it in first year. We did it in It's so weird, year. we can see ourselves grow, grow up. up. Yeah, I think this is why we have to do this video. Yeah. But make sure you guys check out our graduation vlog if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. I went back and I watched the second year one. I got yeah. the same format. We're gonna answer the same questions again. Yes. See how much has changed and how we found third year. Yeah. If you guys follow us on Instagram and TikTok and without further ado, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and we hope you enjoyed the video. Like every year, Jessica has her trusted book with all her notes. The same book. The same oh, yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was looking back, I was like, where's the second year one? The second year one is in here. Okay. Okay, so the first thing is course and module. So what course did we study and what were our modules for third year? Okay, so we studied, it was our final year of studying sport, exercise and health sciences. So in the first semester, we had two modules and your dissertation. So usually in second and third year, it was three modules, modules or four modules. Yeah, three or four modules each semester. This time it was two modules and your dissertation. But the so dissertation is worth two, two modules. modules. So you basically were doing four, four modules. modules every time. In semester one, we studied exercise as medicine and mm -hmm. we studied moral behaviour and doping in sport, mm -hmm. as well as our dissertation. Yes. So in second semester, we studied metabolic perspectives in nutrition and we also did sport and mental health, as long as our dissertation. Looking back in terms of the modules, mm -hmm. let's talk about first semester. So we did exercise and medicine. All I remember about that one, it was a 9am. <laughs> Monday 9am. It was a two hour lecture. It was tough, yeah, but we made it through. Yeah. Moral behaviour and doping in sport. It was okay. The assignments were a bit tricky and the exam as well. Our dissertation was based on moral behaviour and doping in sport. If our dissertation wasn't around our module, module, I don't know if I would have done as well in that module. Yeah. Because like even like some of the readings that we had to do, we had already read them in our dissertation group. Yeah. So coming to the lectures, we're like, okay, we've already read this. this. We know about this topic. Yeah. We understand this concept. Like, it was good that our dissertation title and our, one of our modules was linked. linked to the, the first time is always better than the second semester. First mm -hmm. time, I love... People don't like that it's like cold and it's winter, but I love the Christmas time and it's like explosion time for cheer and yeah. like just from september to december i love it because when it gets to second semester and you have that easter time after easter it's hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay metabolic perspectives in nutrition mm -hmm. all i remember was it got to a point where like i was <laughs> I know behind what you're gonna say. Yeah. i was behind the on content that it was also because like the disc deadlines were coming up and the disc is worth Two, two modules. modules so you need to put your time and effort into that mm -hmm. so they kept telling you if you fail, fail your dissertation you're failing your whole degree you are because of how much the waiting is of third year and of the dissertation so you had to put in obviously your module still mattered yeah they, they were easy boosters just in case you're you're struggling on a section of your disc but your disc was important midway through even when it got to, we'll talk about exams but even when it got to the exam I didn't even finish the content for that module. I'm gonna hold my hands up. I never, <laughs> to this day, I passed, I did great. Yeah. I never finished that content. I, sometimes they say, when you get to revision anyway, they're always like, oh, focus on a couple of weeks that you're most confident on. So it's not even like you need to know all the content. You need yeah. to just know what you're good at and focus on that. And hopefully that question comes up. Sport and mental health, a lot of slides, a lot of <laughs> seminars, oh, a lot yeah, of content. Yeah, yeah. And I feel yeah. like I wrote too much and I should have cherry picked a lot more. Yeah. I feel like this was like our first in third year was our first time properly taking notes like on our laptops. In second, it was like maybe halfway through second year, we were like, okay, let's yes. stop write paper. Guys, do not Need paper write your notes. Don't do it. <laughs> if you want to, some people go to lectures and they'll paper write their notes, get as much information as they can, and then go look at the slides. Just type. Don't ever, don't ever write your notes. That was the I spent, worst thing. I've spent more time doing work than I needed to, like if I just typed. Yeah, I should just typed. Overall, which semester did you prefer? First semester, first semester. Yeah, I remember being in Easter and I was like, I need, to, I need to write my dissertation. Oh, so you need to have this drafted yeah, so by this time. And to make the dissertation process easier, you need to make sure you're sticking to the deadlines. deadlines. That's the number one thing. Mm -hmm. It just felt like a lot of contact for third year. It a felt lot. like I was there all the time. Yeah, I was there all yeah. the time. Especially in terms of, do you think that the jump of the workload from second to third year was a lot? Because of the dissertation, yeah. I think we were thrown into things that we had never done before, before. for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, we had a lot of essays and exams that were essay-based. In second and second and first year, we it was, never had it was multiple choice. It was short answer questions. It came to third year, and they said, okay, you have to write 1,500 words in four hours. I know that the sports science course has changed. Like, people in first year, 
they're now doing yeah. essays. So that's going to help them more. Yeah. We had, none of us had ever written an essay before. I think I would say overall, third year was hard. There were moments, I promised myself I wasn't going to cry and I didn't cry. Mm. But there were moments where I was like, this is a lot. There were times where the library was oh so jam-packed. Oh gosh. People, that... There were times people were sitting on the floor. floor. Because it was so jam-packed, they didn't have studies, other study spaces Bases. open. So especially when it was exam mm -hmm. season and it was the weekend and other buildings weren't open, the library was hell. You'd have to get there at like 8am. Yeah. <laughs> but in the end, it's all worth it. So now to talk about assignments. As Jesse mentioned before, all our exams this year were essay-based, 1,500 words, four hours. Mm -hmm. So it meant you had to do a lot of preparation because you didn't know what the question was going to be. Yeah. They were open book as well. I have my notes with me. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's how you write the question and yeah. if you answer it well. Yeah. So we also had a lot of posters. Posters, scientific posters. We had a lot of academic posters. Mm. Also, one thing for our dissertation was we had to do a, a poster post day. So we did a lot of presentations. We did a presentation together. Oh my gosh, yeah, for nutrition. Yeah, we did. I was scared. Had to go into the room. They, uh, they, it was always a thing of you present for five minutes, they question you for 10 minutes. Yeah. We had to do a lot of that. Post the day in terms of your dissertation. Is that was worth 15% of your disc. 100 students in the Great Hall, your poster's on a wall behind you and you have to like talk about it and they question you. And was, so I think we did manage our time well throughout the whole entire third year. We met the deadlines for the disc. We met the assignments. There was only one particular assignment where... That was the latest I'd ever left it. I started it two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Two weeks before was wild. Mm -hmm. To some people, that might not be late <laughs> at all. But to us, I remember finishing it. I remember going to sports night. Because <laughs> it was the last one. Night, something the last like the one. Last one or something. Yeah. Before exams. And I was like, I'm, no, I'm going to go. And then I came back from sports night. And I, I did, did my references. references. And, and then that was I it. I submitted it the next morning. morning. Yeah. I don't advise that. <laughs> Okay. One of the headings in the previous video was facilities. The reason why we said facilities last year because it was actually our first year on campus. So it was the year before mm. was COVID. So we had never been anywhere. Well, this year you feel like you probably went to more buildings. Yeah. The actual sport, our actual course building a lot yeah. more. Because our dissertation meetings were in there every mm -hmm. single week. And usually you're not actually in your course building, but we, we were, were in there quite a lot. Library was our favourite place. Mm -hmm. We were known as the library girls. People, were, We were there. <laughs> floor two floor two or three we discovered the microwave in that library we take our lunch we go to the microwave yeah i don't know why we didn't we didn't see that there was one there i just i don't know i think i saw people lining up and i don't know what they were lining up for i don't social life social life so, so i would say this year it was a lot of loss mm -hmm. so last cheer ball last explosion graduation mm -hmm. we didn't actually go to grad ball, ball because we were on holiday mm -hmm. in inapa watch that video <laughs> But yeah, I heard a lot about like grad ball. Would have been nice to be on campus with everyone for the last time. Yeah. Oh, people would say, oh yeah, third year, knuckle down, head down, like don't go out. And I feel like I remember Gabby saying like, when you finish, you're not gonna remember. The you're not gonna remember like crying in the library. You're gonna remember those good times. So definitely have a balance. Still make a still make an effort to go to them. I think, but definitely after Easter for all third years. After Easter, no one. I didn't go out after Easter. It everything was, dipped. First semester from like September to December. Every we were, week. We were there. We were there. <laughs> and then when it got to like second January we came back, we went to maybe one or two. Then we, we didn't go for like a month. We were not going anywhere for like yeah. a good month. Mm -hmm. And we were like, guys, we just need to stay in, like we need to crack on with our yeah. work. And it was more I think we were doing more like chill things in the house, like just movie nights, ordering yeah. food, just more chill stuff rather than going out. Because when you go out, you get tired. And it's like, yeah. oh, I, 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 need I need to, to be go, I need to be at the library tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning early. So it was definitely it did dip which is understandable, it has to dip. You have mm. to then, it becomes crunch time. So it definitely does have to dip, but definitely have those moments where you do get to relax and unwind mm. and think about yourselves. We had a lot of like birthdays and like big celebrations. Because everyone was turning 21 when you were in third year. So it was a lot of big, big celebrations. celebrations. We had our birthday party. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. So uh, those are like the social like memories that I remember. Yeah. One of the questions I asked at the end of the last video that we mm -hmm. did was what was your best night out? I'm not gonna in remember that, that. In that video, we said prism and snobs. <laughs> in second year, we yeah. said that. Uh, what that? I've oh, never been back there. This whole third year, I've never been back there. The only place I felt like we really went to this year was Heidi's. That was what the sports night thing was. Yeah, it became Heidi. It was like a mix of sometimes going to the guild, sometimes going to Heidi's. When we went like the first time, the first, first time, it was good. Yeah, because you make the most of it. We learn, we learn how to make the most of it. Yeah. But it was mainly, I, I guess, didn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> When I do, I didn't go anywhere. No, but I actually have, I have pictures of really good nights. So. Yeah, our birthday. I think the last um, American football cheerleader swap. Yeah. That one. Mm -hmm. I liked back to school explosion. Yeah, that whole time. That's um, what I'm saying. That first term is always really good. 
Went Pub golf? Yeah, that was good. Oh, just the first letter of your name and Kyra came. Oh, and yeah. I was Princess Jasmine, <laughs> Jessie was Jessie, Kyra was Kim Possible. Like, I think definitely Kyra coming to our sports nights and we go, we would go to Portsmouth sports nights. Yeah, just like, to go would, at least yeah. once. But like, there may have not been like explicit, like, oh my gosh, we went to this event and this event. But like, I feel like training and being in the sports team is kind of social life. Yeah. Like, it was fun just even going to training and things like mm. that. And Com- competition season yeah competition season performances just going we're going that. to Sheffield we're going to and just staying mm. in hotels with your team and like that was social life yeah let's talk about housing this year compared to last year we said in the video can you believe we said we prefer that we're not as close to uni as in we're on the outskirts a bit it's a lot more quieter. Oh yeah, we live further away I completely take that back I think living oh, closer is so much better the convenience of literally just nipping around the corner and going to Audi or you can just, stay into I could wake up and like run to the sports heights building in five minutes. Like yeah. I could be there so quickly. That's a good thing. Like I would, our rent was more expensive, but I would pay that again. It was ex- it was really expensive. I would pay it again just for the fact of the convenience that we were right at the end of the road and it was a nice house. And yeah, we, like I feel like we were definitely like a family. Yeah, like some of my favorite memories were like like Netflix nights where like, yeah. we all binge like a series and we did a Christmas dinner yeah. breakfast like just the actual and moments yes, in the house yes. and like people like Gabby and Alana would come over for the weekend and we have like we go out for the weekend and we have breakfast the next morning all together things yeah. like that Favorite the memory. house people was coming good. over and stayed like people stayed over at our house yeah just doing like pre's in our like house like we were the air fryer babes so everyone chicken eggs and chips in the air fryer 3am and we'll sit in there in the kitchen eating our chicken nuggets after watching, a night out watching Sun and Sunset like yeah. I just had, a, like, definitely... Those are the memories. This th- third year has been the best housing situation. Mm. We'll go to training together, guys, at 6.30. <laughs> 6.30 a.m., guys, we need to go to training. Things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a good house. It was a good house. Great I house. loved it. But my final thoughts in terms of third year, like, what's one thing that you learned? It's hard, mm-hmm. and there can be moments where you're like, why am I doing this? Like, mm-hmm. what is all of this for? But when you have graduation day, and, like, you don't realise, like, uni is not for the week. Oh, it's so. actually quite it's difficult to have a routine to have the motivation to get up yeah. go to the library go to the gym go to your seminars put in that extra effort talk to your supervisors talk to your lecturers like it's actually a lot go out with your friends, friends keep coming home cooking. you're cooking you're cooking you're cleaning you're it's a lot you know <laughs> like living like an adult in a way yeah you're literally in your own bubble and it can be quite like intense and you feel like oh mm. my gosh like this is a lot but you will get through it and in the mm. end when you have graduation you'll be so proud of yourself and you'll look back at all the memories you've made and you would i would i would do it again in a heartbeat i would mm. do it all again in a heartbeat with all the stress and all the added load of work i would do it again i think one thing i learned is was it was funny because darcy darcy said it and it was a meme that she saw on tiktok and i remember her <laughs> showing it to us and it was of this guy and it was like why like do not stress at all because regardless of whether you stress or not it's going to get done Mm. you can't not write your dissertation (laughs) you can't not do something you can't you won't it's not a thing of oh i'm not going to do that presentation or i'm not going to go and submit this work or i'm not going to go here i'm not going to do that just stop thinking about Mm -hmm. all all the stress of it and just think regardless it's going to get done Mm -hmm. so just that's e- that's even a weight off your shoulder because you know it's gonna get done. Like the second year of you, I was like, I'm so scared. How am I gonna do a dissertation? How am I gonna fine. do that? <laughs> because <laughs> you're on the other side, but on the outside, I was like, How yeah. am I gonna do this? But week by week, you take your time, you do what you need to, get, and it will get done. There was no way I was yeah. gonna allow myself to 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 fail. Like I knew I wa- I knew I cared about my work. I knew I wanted to do well in uni. So it's gonna get done. So there's no point in stressing. The thing that we talked about in the last video is how has our relationship changed? From last year to this year. <laughs> Me and you? Yeah. Um, you think, well, obviously we've grown up with different people. Yeah, we're tw- we were literally 18. We were 18 when we started uni. And now we're 21. Now we're 21. How has our relationship changed from this, from last year to this year? Hard to say because I don't, I, I literally saw you every day again. Like mm. every single day I saw you. We went to lectures together. I felt like matured. We've, we've calmed, not calmed down a bit. <laughs> Not calm down. I a bit. think not. But there's a level of like maturity. <laughs> not maturity. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I feel like maybe we were a bit naive and we hadn't really lived. Yeah. And now that we've lived and we've experienced things, I feel like we ra- we're not as rash. I feel like we, like Kyra would say, that like, we would we would instantly okay. be yeah. like, no, we're not doing that. Like without thinking about it, I feel like we're more ambitious. Yeah. I feel like we're definitely more ambitious. I feel like we're, we're more, a bit more carefree. Yeah. Especially you, Jessica was very stush, top button kind of lady. <laughs> I what was, do you mean? You were very top. You were just very. I feel like you have let yourself enjoy yourself and just yes, be more free. Yes, yeah. Um, maybe I have matured a bit. I feel like you helped me mature. I feel like we're a very good balance. 
getting into our 20s so you'll have your second puberty you know that's a thing yeah like i'm turning we're turning 22 yeah like a go-getter now like yeah. i'm just gonna do it i'm more like what do i have to lose energy we were more very we were very shy and we were like oh i don't know if we should do this we don't know if we should do that but to so other people we might have always been ambitious but i feel like we have definitely become more like i'm in control in, of my life in now. our own minds now like we want to do this we're gonna do, do this. this i'm becoming more of who i'm meant to be yeah that's what happens with age anyway yeah yeah <laughs> So, as we're going to end in the tradition that we ended with last year. Oh. Wait, what did we, we, we say? say? We were third year. We had, no, we had a great first year. We'll see you in second year. And then we were like, we had a great second year. We'll, we'll see, see you in third year. year. We had a great first year. We'll see you in second year. <laughs> so, we, we had, had a great, great second year. year. We'll see you in third year. <laughs> we had a great third year. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> yeah, because there's no more. Yeah. We had a great third year. We'll see you very soon. Now that we've finished our third year review, definitely we, we have a full holistic view of uni. So we're definitely going to redo some of our videos. Like we did our things we wish we knew before going to uni. Now we have some real advice yeah. of things we wish we knew. Housing tips. We've got a Dear Graduate Arts video where in first year we filmed a series. We filmed ourselves asking our future selves a series of questions. questions. And we're going to watch that video back. <laughs> we haven't watched it back since we filmed it. So and we're going to answer those questions, questions back. So make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Mm -hmm. We also have a few episodes of uh, 10 Minutes with, with Left mm -hmm. to release. So we'll release those as well. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you next week. Bye.